By the grace of God, the world narrowly averted a nuclear catastrophe last night. 联合国安理会召开紧急会议，谴责俄罗斯染指扎波罗热核电厂。核电厂紧急广播警告俄军，禁止对核电设施开火。Russian forces are now 20 miles enclosing from Ukraine's second largest nuclear facility. So this imminent danger continues. 俄罗斯驻联合国大使涅本齐亚则公然说谎，宣称攻击核电站的说法是假消息。俄军与核电厂管理者达成共识，并将其纳入俄军的保护之下。英国驻联合国大使伍百纳谴责俄罗斯攻击核电厂违反日内瓦公约第五十六条。This is the first time that a state has attacked a fueled and functioning nuclear power plant. International law. Requires special protection for nuclear facilities. 美国也正在评估俄罗斯是否触犯战争罪。We have an internal review that's been ongoing, both prior to last night, of to collect evidence and data of of the targeting of civilians, of the reported use of horrific weapons of war on the ground in Ukraine. That's an ongoing process. We have not made conclusions. 目前，乌克兰总统泽伦斯基仍然坚守在办公室，并分享影片报平安。预计将与俄罗斯在周末举行第三轮谈判。新唐人亚太电视，姜子阳编译。